Welcome back to Jungle Gym Aquatics. Today, I'm swapping fish. Well, today's the big day. I've got a big fish move coming up. I'm gonna be taking that guy right there. Where is he? There he is. I'm gonna be taking that guy to my 90 gallon aquarium at home. Um, I'm going to get the goldfish from the 30 gallon, the 33 long that's out in the, the meeting room, and take them home, and for now, put them in a 20 gallon long, the same 20 gallon long that's holding my female blue Akara, who's gonna be going into the 90 with that guy. So I've got a lot of work to do today. First things first, I'm gonna try to catch him, which I'm hoping I can do without draining out all the water here, but we'll see how it goes. So you all get to watch that. Wish me luck. Well, here we go. Luckily, he's pretty brave. As you can see, he's right there. So he's, like I said, he's pretty brave. We'll see what happens once the net goes in. Hopefully it's easy peasy. Yep, it was in fact easy peasy. Well, I have him in this glass right here. Now, what frightens me the most about moving this guy is that even though he's super chill in his 92 gallon, he may not be as chill once I get him home, but we'll find out soon enough. Next thing I gotta do is get these three goldfish out of here. There's the black one. And then there's these two guys, and they're gonna go home into my 20 gallon long that currently has my female electric blue Akara. The next step in this whole fish move is getting her, my uh, small female blue Akara, or electric blue Akara, putting her over in that 90, along with that polar paradise, or I'm sorry, the uh, blood paradise I just grabbed. And then the goldfish are gonna go in there. So next step is to try to get her. Oh, and here's Randy wondering what the heck I'm doing, being all cute, look at her old girl. Randy's gonna be 11 at the end of the month, but she doesn't look it. Well, maybe she does. She doesn't to me. Here goes nothing. Well, she's in here. Next thing I'm gonna do is put her and the blood parrot into this 90 so that they can get uh, acclimated. The temperatures were all a lot different. The temperature in that little 20 gallon long. Was way warmer than the temperature that's in this 90. So we're gonna let that happen now. And the goldfish, you can see that polar parrot way bigger than all the other fish in there, or that blood parrot, I keep calling it a polar parrot. 
Everybody's wondering what the heck that thing is. And then I'm gonna go put the goldfish over in there to acclimate. However, I'm going to unplug the heater as well because it is quite warm in that aquarium. All right, gonna do a time lapse on these guys. All right, it's time to get these guys into their new house. Start with this big guy. Um, I'm probably not gonna use the nut, actually. I'll probably just reach in and get him. Hopefully he doesn't spike me or anything. I think they got spikes, I'm pretty sure they do. Um, I don't know, he's a big dude. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this one yet. Probably should have brought the big net from work, but here we are. Oh, that went well. Here we go. And now I'm wet. There we go. He's considerably larger than all of the other fish in there, but he's gonna go hide for right now. Next, we'll get my little female electric Luacara in here. This is actually, was her home until she and the Emil got sick. So hopefully she does well in here again. She'll hold her own, she's pretty tough. Oh, she's gonna go down and check out what that parrot's doing down there. Oh yeah, she's literally hiding behind him. Ah. All right, from there, I'll go ahead and get these goldfish in. Let me raise up there, there's Randy's bed. All right, cool. Ah, there we go. All right, these guys time. take the heat out well I turned it off anyway so that uh, you know hopefully that'll be all right for them I mean it will be they're, they're goldfish so it'll be fine oh, that would literally look like part of a spin tore off that's weird I don't know which one that was that that came from but probably that one This is why I don't like long thin fish. This is literally, can't focus on it at all. A piece of one of their fins that came off. It's not, oh, there we go. So that's why I don't like long, that's why I don't like fancy goldfish, none of that stuff. But hey, it is what it is. I got these fish as a rescue, so. All right. their new home it's temporary at best I imagine um, I think I'm still gonna end up putting them in the, the pond yeah you can see right there this poor guy well I'll probably let this one heal uh, you can see right in the back there where that piece of fin came from um, yeah we're gonna definitely let this guy heal up before I do anything else with him but he'll probably go in the pond outside for right now they're fine I'll get some more filtration on that system in there because it's only got that one sponge filter uh, and they should be all right over here we got the polar parrot right there I'm sorry, the blood parrot. And then we got the female Akara. I'm not sure where she got to. She's already disappeared. She used to hide over there, but I don't see her. Maybe she's up top somewhere. Um, I really don't see her at all. Well, if any of you see her in this one spot, then uh, or in a spot in this part of the video, then go ahead and let me know in the comments. Cause 
I'll bet. Oh, is that her right over there? Is that her? Nope. We got that guy. We got the gold Severum. We got the fire mouth, the green Severum. We got the blood parrot. Where is that female blue car I just put in here? She's got to be hiding up there somewhere. I just can't see her. Oh gosh, you all got to close up with my arm in the uh, reflection. Sorry about that. Nobody wants that. Wow, she is like legit just disappeared. Close his lid. I don't see her on the ground anyway. I don't think she jumped out. Although she does jump a lot when she's scared. All right, just one more pass through here. Huh, I don't know. He definitely, this guy is definitely the biggest one in the aquarium right now. But we'll see what happens. I'm not sure. He may end up being the tank boss. The, uh, oh yeah, look at this. This little polar parrot just doesn't even care, man. Going right after that big guy. That's hilarious. These guys, polar parrots are just bosses. They don't care about anything. They care about themselves and that's it. And they'll take on anybody of any size. Just absolutely do not care. Um, hopefully when I come back later, I got to go back to work actually. Which means that I won't be back home for another 8 to 10 hours. Because I'm going out afterward. Um, so... Hopefully that female blue car comes out in that time. Like I said, I don't want her to be too panicky because I don't want her to stress too much. Um, seeing as how, you know, it's been, it's been two weeks, but she did, she did have that illness not too long ago. Uh, when I come back later, I'll pick up the camera. Like I said, it'll probably be eight to 10 hours from now. So uh, we'll see how everybody's doing. We'll see where, where everybody's at and if they're all getting along. I really hope they are because even though that blood parrot was super chill on that 92 with the other four blood parrots, uh, I don't know if he'll be super chilling here or not. Only time will tell, I suppose. All right, see y'all in eight to 10 hours. It's just about 10 hours later. It's like 7.30 at night now, I just walked in. Um, this blood parrot's out. He was actually just hiding right down here uh, under this log, but he's out and about. And that green Severum's like, I don't know what to think about you. That's very clear. Yeah, that's where the blood parrot, or the, yeah, the blood parrot was when I just got in. Uh, the electric, the female electric blue Akara, she was out when I just walked in. Um, I think she hides behind that big rock back there, but um, she ran away the moment I walked in, which is unfortunate, but when I put her in that other aquarium, it took her like two or three days to be back to herself. So I'm assuming the same thing's gonna happen here. Uh, but yeah, that's where that blood parrot was hiding, but I mean, that's also where that fire mouth right there hides. Uh, the two severums are up here looking like champs. They'll actually, they don't come up and nibble at me, but they all come up for food when I put my fingers up there. They all think it's time to eat all the ones that have been here for a while. That green severum is just growing really quick. He was uh, just a couple of months ago, probably about the same size as that uh, gold severum. Um, let me rephrase that. A couple months ago, he was the size the gold severum is now, and he just took off for a little while there. But yeah, so that's all these guys. Um, like I said, female Akara was out when I just walked in the door. I'll pick up the camera again in the morning on this one to see because it's 7.30 at night and the lights are going to go out in like 10 minutes anyway. Uh, over here, the goldfish don't care because they're goldfish. They're just, they're just happy little derpy things. Um, I mean, no fish is more derpy than that blood parrot, but these guys don't care. They're pretty happy-go-lucky fellows. So, um, once again, like I said, I'll pick up the camera in the morning. We'll see how everybody's doing, see what everybody looks like, how they're feeling. Um, this guy, even though part of his fin, you can see right there part of his fin kind of came off i showed that earlier in the video he still doesn't seem to be bothered by it or she that fish does not seem to be bothered by it all right cool i'll pick this up in the morning um like i said 7 30 at night so probably another 10 hours away and we'll see how everybody's doing over in the other aquarium because as of right now that that polar parrot just kind of hides and the electric blue akara is definitely hiding because i don't see her all right see you in a bit it is the next morning and everybody seems to be doing pretty well. Um, the electric blue Akara female's coming out. She's actually been hanging out with that fire mouth as you just saw. I know, I gotta clean my glass. Today is cleaning day. I turned the lights on about 30 seconds ago so everybody's still just kinda, kinda coming to. There's the gold severum over there. The green severum I just saw a second ago. Fire mouth is over there under the filter. That blood parrot's still hanging out there but he's gonna swing out here pretty soon. And then that electric blue Akara, she's down there. So everybody's getting along. They're all swimming along. They're all doing what they got to do. But like I said, it's the next morning. Lights have been on for about 30 seconds, but everybody is doing great. Um, 
maybe I'll pick up the camera before I post this, but it is Saturday morning and this is gonna go live today at some point, so. Um, anyway, everybody's doing great in this aquarium in the 90 gallon. Uh, they're all out, they're all about, but just still tired because that's what happens in the morning. There's Randy down there. Hey, Randy girl. How the heck are you? Goldfish are goldfish. They're doing great. They don't care what's going on. That guy doesn't seem to be affected at all by what happened to his fin. I mean, you can see it again a little bit in the back there, but um, he's probably gonna do all right, or she, whichever the case may be. Uh, but they gotta get out of here sooner rather than later. So I'm hoping it only takes about a week or so for, for everything to clear up on him. I mean, you can see there's some of the little bit of blood splotting and everything like that. Um, but once that is, they'll go out to the pond. So coming back over here, fish have adapted pretty darn well. Blew a car is out, fire mouth out. That blood parrot, I'm assuming that that blood parrot is going to start coming out at some point. Yeah, there we go, coming right towards me a little bit. That blood parrot was always sitting right at the glass staring at me in my office, so hopefully uh, fish recognize people, even in different locations, because it'll be cool if that happens. See if any of them will come up when I start tapping on the glass here a little bit. Oh, those those polar parrots come up, because those guys are maniacs. But everybody else, once, they, once they're done resting, they'll be good. Like even the gold severn came out of his little spot, so. Um, that's that. Tri fish transfer seems to be a success right off the bat here, 24 hours later. So um, I'm happy with it and everybody's getting along. We'll see how that continues. I'll, pl uh, I'll post any updates that may happen with them. Uh, if you like this content, be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Again, Jungle Gym Aquatics. Go be awesome, do awesome things.